I'm live, nobody's here. <laughs> it's okay. It's still gonna be fun. Um, okay, so today I'm gonna show how I'm doing um, some of the special effects that I'm doing using white inks and pencils and all kinds of pens. So as usual, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, just ask away and I am here to explain everything and hope I don't mess up this drawing. So basically I used, um, in the last video, if you haven't seen it, um, this thing, which is Magic White Spray from uh, Montana, which actually does a really good um, gradient from kind of white to the background. And it also blends with the Copic ink, so it actually... Instead of looking like white, it looks like really light pale pink because it takes the colors underneath it. So if there was another color, it would just take that color. So really cool spray to have the initial gradient of white that I'm planning on doing. Um, so I'm gonna add a bunch of uh, white streaks along the figure. to make her glow and I'm gonna use a few different tools to do it so first one I'm using is actually um, this ink or you can get this one they're kind of the same I don't see really any difference between them they're just uh, acrylic ink so they're very uh, they're kind of thin enough to go inside an airbrush, but thick enough to be opaque. So, really good white, white ink. Everybody needs it. Hey, hey, what's up? Shlok Shavma, that's a cool name. Sure you shake it well. Put in some ink here. use this thing only for the brush because it's really good brush but it's actually dried out so I just dip it in the white ink and use it also I'm gonna make sure to clean it every few strokes because if you don't do it uh, the white kind of takes some of the color from underneath it so I want to make sure that I'm doing white streaks and not pink. So make sure to clean up the tip. So if you see what I'm doing, I'm starting with uh, like strong pressure on the bottom and as I go up, I lightly lift my hand up, so I get a stroke that's like this, almost like a dry brush. 
because I want to fade into nothing to make sure like the solid white is around the figure. And doing a lot of variation of length and spacing between the lines. So some of them are close to each other, some of them are farther apart. Hey, hey, what's up? Thank you for joining. And it's okay if the tip dries from the white ink, like you don't need it super white. The it's actually creating a really nice effect when it's uh, like less saturated. I'm using a uh, Faber-Castell white pen. Uh, some of the lettering is smudged, so I'm not really sure if there's a name, but it's um, basically like uh, this pen, but a big one, huge one. And it's already dried out for me, so I'm just using it um, almost like a brush. I dip it in white ink and just use it and it works really nice because the white ink that I'm using is actually better than the one that comes um, inside this so it does a better job like just using it as a brush and replacing the ink
Panav is asking how I'm covering up the drawing. Um, I could probably make a video about it too. I'm using uh, magic tape. So it's the one that's not so clear. And tracing paper. And I just tape it on the character and then use the exacto knife to cut around. And that's how I cover the characters. Apologies for the loud noise. I'm gonna use the hair dryer to dry up the drawing to make sure that it's dry and I can move on to the next layer. So now that it's dry, I can move on to the next tool. So I finished using this. Um, now I will use um, this one. So if you've ever been to an art store, you've probably seen these uh, jelly roll. They come in different sizes, like eight, 10, five. And they're not the best all the time, but I learned that you just gotta shake them and like clean out the tip after every use and then they work okay sometimes. Yep, still not working. That's why I always buy like 10 of them. Um, Toxic Knight asking what time is it over here? It's actually early morning, like 9 a.m. What time is it over there? Where you're at? So with the white pen, I'm actually doing the same. Just like a few more lines, different spacing between them, different variation in length of the line. Like some of them long, some of them not as long. Oh, 11 p.m., that's not so bad. Don't worry, it's not going to be a long live anyways, so you can probably go to bed before midnight, hopefully. Morning, hello. Abby, what's up? And yes, I'll talk a bit louder. Of course. I think the camera is just maybe farther from me than it should be. Or I should get a microphone.
also make sure all the lines are parallel so like you don't go like this because <laughs> it's gonna look wonky if you do that enough line again I want to make sure I uh, dry up the white ink before I move on to the next layer so Actually, with the white pen, I'm gonna add uh, a few more uh, lines in other direction, like create X shapes, just in some uh, areas that might get uh, extra shine on them. That would be like um, an edge of a sword or a helmet or the shoulder pad. How do you guys like it so far? Is it working? Is she glowing? step I'm using is um, just a white pencil um, it's also faber castell um, but I think you can probably use any pencil you have so uh, just go to an art store and um, try a bunch of white pencils on like a they usually have like a paper you can try on so just try them and see which one you like the most and then kind of adding a glow around the, the white streaks that I've done with the pen. So 
I want to make sure those white lines uh, don't look like white pens, but look like white highlights. So this helps to soften the edges. And again, make sure you dry the white pen before you do it, because if not, you're going to smudge the whole thing. Vicky, hello. And after I use this to go over the lines from the pens, pen, I'll actually just do like a small um, gradient shape just to make it extra glowy. Some of the areas that I want more bright. And last step that I'm going to use is adding really thin splatter with the toothbrush. So again, I'm using the white ink, Liquitex, acrylic ink. Dabbing a little bit on the paper. And to get the small splatter, you gotta make sure you use uh, like the first few times you s spatter it on like the scrap paper because the first few strokes will have big drops of ink and I only want the small ones like these so I'll use it in the few areas that I want to make sure look shiny here at the bottom because that's where the light hits David Lee what's up Okay, I think this is working. So yeah, I think I'm done with the highlights and special effects, um, for the background at least. I'll probably add more after I color the figure. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this process, leave it in the comment. And if I didn't answer it now, I'll probably answer it on the next live, which will happen soon, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Thank you, Vicky. I appreciate it. Now I'm trying to remove the masking and not rip apart the drawing. So it's not that easy to mask the drawing, but it's so worth it when you can do something like this and not mess up the character. So super happy about this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for joining. I love you all. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much.